What's good, Raider Nation? Today, I want to talk to you guys about our new safety, LaMarcus Joyner. Every single day on Twitter, I have asked exactly what he's going to do for the Raiders. Now, he did play a lot of different positions, which included free safety, strong safety, corner, uh, outside linebacker. He even lined up on the line of scrimmage. On this play right here, you're going to see Joyner lining up essentially as a strong safety slash linebacker. Now, this is a fourth and one play. Um, and essentially what's going to happen is uh, the, the Cowboys are going to try running the ball. And one thing I like about Joyner is he fills his gap. Now, he's not over pursuing it. He's not doing anything um, that he shouldn't be doing. And he's in the perfect spot because he does not do that. And he's able to wrap up Ezekiel Elliott. Now, if, if he shot the gap and was not in that position that he was in right there, he would not have made this play. If you guys watch from the backside angle, you guys will see it a little bit better. Uh, again, you're going to see Joyner right here, number 20 on the screen. As the play begins, uh, you know, it's perfect. He sees the gap that he's responsible for, right? It's right there, and he just plays it perfectly. And this is exactly what I like because, again, um, Elliot doesn't get tackled right here. He's going to bounce it out. And because Joyner is not over-pursuing it, he's able to quickly wrap him up and stop him. And this was a key fourth down play, right? This could have changed the whole entire game if the Cowboys were able to uh, get this first down and score a touchdown. I want to show you guys his next play as well because I think it's very important. So in this play, you're going to see Joyner right here on the screen lined up as a strong safety. Uh, similar situation. You're going to see him step up as this team tries running a uh, outside run. And watch how he beats this offensive lineman. Now it's him against the offensive lineman. And he's just able to beat him with speed. He's quick. And that's a very nice play right there. He's able to beat number 64 and make the tackle for a negative two-yard uh, loss. Check it out again in real time. Again, you're going to see Joyner. Uh, I lined up at strong safety. It's a nice play. I wanted to show you guys these two plays because I think it's important to understand that Joyner is very good against the run. People say, oh, he's short, uh, which he is. He's not the quickest guy out, or he's not the... Uh, the, the tallest guy out there it doesn't mean he plays like he's short you know he's smart he's a high iq player and he's he's still young i i think that's something that people often get confused about um it, you know they, they might say oh he might be older or whatever but he's not you know he's played corner safety uh free strong you know he's played the high low look so it's, there's a lot of different things that he's already done um, i want to move into this next play right here all right you guys so in those last two plays Joyner was lined up at the strong safety position. This one's a little bit different. You're going to see him lined up as a free safety. So he's, uh, uh, he's playing really, really deep. As you guys can see, he's almost 20 yards off the line of scrimmage. I really like this because in this play, you're going to see Joyner can get from one side to the other side of the field very, very quickly. He sees the, uh, the re receiver, makes the break, and he goes up there and he plays the ball perfectly. Uh, it does not get better than this right here. Uh, you know, he's backpedaling, which is great. He sees the ball, and he just breaks it up. The very, very nice play by Joyner, and this is one of the things he will do for, for Oakland. Uh, he'll be able to play free safety. Now, Carl Joseph is a natural free safety as well uh, because, they're you know, both of these safeties are a little bit shorter. Uh, Carl Joseph, on the other hand, can hit, so he fits perfectly as a free safety because essentially what happens is when a receiver like this goes across the field, Carl Joseph will hit him, right? That's the point of, of a free safety. Uh, now, obviously in this instance, I really like the fact that at about this spot right here, you're going to see Joyner, uh, he starts backpedaling. And I like that because he's able to keep his eyes on the ball and backpedal and he's fast enough to run with his head turned around, uh, find the ball in the air. That's very good ball skills. You know, we used to have a corner named TJ Carey uh, who was very good. You know, he, he was a good corner. He had good hips. Everything about him was pretty good. The only thing he could not do was play the ball well in the air. You know, and, and I think that's a skill and a trait that is often not overlooked by fans. All right. Hand-eye coordination is key. In the NFL, things are so quickly. You have to be able to, you know, turn your head find the ball and keep running without, you know, having like a pass interference or something like that. Uh, and Joyner does that well in this play. With that, I want to move into this next play right here. All right, you guys, just like the last play, you're going to see Joyner lined up 
as a free safety right here on the screen. One of the things, again, I like about him is he's very versatile and he's still super fast. You're going to see Tyree Carroll run a fake to the inside and then cut it back out. And look how quickly Joyner is able to turn his hips. Now, understand Tyree Carroll is running full speed at this point. Joyner is quickly able to uh, see what happened, turn his hips, and break the pass up. Now, we're going to be facing Tyree Kill twice a, twice a year. So, uh, it's going to be very imperative that we have someone like Joyner who is fast, right? Super, super fast. He does it well right here. He's going to have to do this during the, the, the season as well, you know. And, and I think it's very good that he's very fast, right? He's going to be able to uh, stay with Tyree Kale or, or some of these other guys when he's covering them deep. You know, we're probably playing Patrick Mahomes and Tyree Kale twice a year. Um, again, it's just a nice play, nice way to break a pass up. Uh, I think one of the things that a safety has to do is he has to be quick and able to, again, have that hand-eye coordination to break passes up and, and turn his hips. Uh, and again, I think Joyner has that. And, and I really like that. And I'm really happy that the Raiders were able to get a player like Joyner that still has that in him often what happens is players get older and they slow down um joiner has not slowed down yet you know so it'll be interesting to see kind of you know what he does um with that i want to show you guys his next play as well all right you guys check this play out right here you're going to see uh, lamarcus joiner lined up as a free safety i wanted to show you guys this play because uh it's very important that we have players that can go from the free safety look and then make their way to slot corner that's one of the reasons why Joyner was signed, and I know there's a lot of news out there that says Joyner's going to be playing uh, primarily corner or whatever, you know, right? There's a lot of these rumors. I think when Mike Mayock and Gruden were talking about Joyner and how he'll be playing primarily in the slot, I think what they meant was when we go from a free, when we have a free safety out there, at the times that we do need a safety to step up to cover tight ends or receivers or running backs joiner will be that guy so i don't think joiner is going to be a, a full-time slot corner i think he's more likely going to be our safety and anytime we want to go with one safety deep uh, which would be like carl joseph joiner will be the one to step up and play the corner spot in this case right here joiner is going to be lined up over michael thomas uh, and again you're going to see him just nicely not fall for any sort of fake right but see that the route is, is you know, you can do an in-out route. And Joyner's able to just jump the route and break the pass up. Now, I think this is a very nice play. And, and the reason why is, I, I believe him being able to break this pass up comes from the fact that he studied uh, them on tape. And he kind of knows what's coming because Michael Thomas does an in-route. And he's not really jumping that route at this point right here. Right, he kind of just sits back on, and he's already ready to jump the, uh, jump this side over here. As you can tell, he's getting ready to jump it. Michael Thomas hasn't even indicated that he's gonna cut this back out yet, uh, and he's already jumping it and just ready. And I think that's part of that being able to recognize a play that quickly comes from watching tape. One thing I took from Mike Mayock's interview um, of a couple days ago was the fact that. LaMarcus Joyner is a guy who watches tape and he's a smart, high IQ player. You know, one thing that I often hear about certain NFL players is some players are very smart and they can understand tape. And then there's others who are very gifted and, and they have great technique, but they're not that they're not that smart. They don't have the, the same IQ as other players. Now, I think Joyner falls in that um, he's very smart and he understands uh, he understands how to uh, watch tape, but then I think at the same time he's very fast so he can kind of put um, You know both of those things together. I'm very excited to watch Joyner. I think he's gonna be a great player for the Raiders uh, one thing that uh, We're gonna have to figure out fast is who's gonna be playing free safety strong safety Corner, you know right corner left corner. And we're gonna have to find that out fast and quickly and We got to get our spots down uh, Because I, I don't think the Raiders this year uh, are in a rebuild. I'm not saying we're a Super Bowl team, but we're not in a rebuild. You know, you don't go out and get Antonio Brown, Trent Brown, you know, and, and Marcus Joyner and are, you know, saying, oh, we're still rebuilding, right? Last year, it was pretty clear that we're in a rebuild, but I wouldn't say the same thing uh, this season. Anyways, I want to end the video here, but I want to know what you guys think. 
Do you guys like LaMarcus Joyner? Do you guys like his signing? Do you guys think he'll be primarily playing in the slot corner position? Let me know what you guys think. Please like, share, comment, subscribe if you guys are not subscribers. I really appreciate you guys uh, watching. I hope you guys all have a great day, and I will see you guys next time with the Game Film Breakdown.